1. What types of photos do you like taking? Why? Why not? Well, frankly speaking I have become so immune to taking photos. The advent of cell phones has triggered the urge of clicking the pictures of anything we like. I like taking photos of my friends and family when they are doing anything silly. To poke fun at them I often do so. I do capture the moments which are significant. I take photos of kids special when they bath, laugh and cry. 2. What do you do with photos you take? Why? Why not? Photo editing is a piece of cake today. You don't need to be expert of camera or editing. I try to increase and decrease the brightness of the photos, if the photo is important I save in gallery, post on Facebook and share it with my friends. I write names, special quotes and tag on photos. 3. When you visit other places, do you take photos or buy the postcards? Why? Why not? When I visit any place I first take the photos of public transport and offices. It makes easy for me to remember the purpose of my visit. I am keen on visiting historical monuments and taking photos from different sides of the building. I don't buy postcards. I have collected so many photos in my computer so far. 4. Do you like people taking photos of you? Why? Why not? It is sometimes irritating when unknown people take my photos, I am afraid that they may misuse or defile it. I enjoy the people, who I know well and let them take photos, I have refused many people about taking photos with me. I don't know why I feel uncomfortable with this. Part 2. Describe a day when you thought the weather was perfect. You should say, where you were on this day what the weather, was like on this day, what you did during the day, and explain why you thought the weather was, perfect on this day. Model answer, weather is usually volatile in my country it often gets rainy and shiny. There are days when it becomes difficult to design my days according to the present weather. I have been caught in worst weather conditions which blew my mind. I must say that there has been time when the weather was ideal to perform any task. I remember a day that was perfect methodologically. On 25 th December, the Christmas is celebrated all over the world with shows and pumps. Last Christmas day the weather was awesome. I really enjoyed to the fullest. On this day I was in my hometown and people from neighboring villages were there to celebrate the Christmas. There were many activities to be done there. There were sermons, speeches, hymns were performed to glorify the Christ. The Christmas comes in the winter season. The weather conditions are not so cold that people don't come out. I still remember it was sunshine and not much heat was there. I also took part in singing hymns and played an anchor there. I did not feel any kinds of fatigue caused by weather. I stayed on the top of myself. I was very pleasing to be there. The program lasted about 5 hours and we went through range of activities. The environmental conditions were very supportive. Usually the weather is very hot in the summer and cold in the winter in the area where we live in. The day was perfect to perform any kind of task. It did not tire and made us feel out of mind. Such days should be used as maximum as we can. Part 3 Discussion Topics, Types of Weather, Example Questions 1. What types of weather do people in your country dislike most? Why is this? In my country people don't enjoy the summer season. The weather in this season is very hot. Sunstroke and strong gust of mind run the ponds dry. We have to turn our air conditioners and coolers on. We are to depend on the fridge and other resources which can keep the water cool and maintain the freshness of green vegetables. People who reside in rural areas have to suffer mosquito attacks. The dengue and other diseases catch the people. It comes very difficult to pass those three months. Sometime incessant rain also causes ill health among people if it goes for a month. 2. What jobs can be affected by weather's conditions? Why? There are jobs worst affected by meteorological changes. I have experienced that people who are employed in agriculture industry suffer a lot, typhoons, rain and hailstorms don't let them work in open field. In the hilly areas people cannot come out during the winter season. The snowfalls and fog lead to lessen the speed of traffic and work. Due to fog trains and flights are delayed to avoid the causality. 3. Are there any important festivals in your country that celebrate a season or type of weather? Well, there are some festivals that celebrate the weather in my country. I would name here Basant Panchmni here, it is celebrated on the coming of spring season. People are very excited about this day. Basaki comes to tell that the summer is going to come. We assume that 13th April is a knock on the door about the summer. In the months September and October, we celebrate the Dushara and Diwali. Their festivals are very famous among Hindu religions celebrated in the beginning of the winter season. Weather forecasts example questions. 1. How important do you think it is for everyone to check what the next day's weather will be? Why? 
it is very crucial to predict the next day's weather to schedule the days and activities. Even it is very important for all to be flexible. If it is predicted to rain then we have to change outdoor programs and stays in. Rains, strong gust of winds and other reverse changes cause delay in the arrival and departure of public and private transportations. I have experienced that people who don't check on the weather often get caught in rains and other meteorological occurrences. 2. What is the best way to get accurate information about the weather? There are some ancient ways to get the close prediction of weather. I hear my mom and grandma talking about the months which bring rains and storm and so on. But I cannot predict the weather. People who work in employed in Met Department often predict the weather accurately. They study the changes in the season signals. Sent by satellites. I would here say that for common men and women cannot tell what the weather is going to be next day. I have seen unexpected changes in the weather. 3. How easy or difficult is it to predict the weather in your country? Why is that? I don't think so that we can foretell what is going to happen. Because many predictions made by scientists who work in Met Department often don't come to pass. People often try to predict from the seasonal changes in the weather. I don't consider that such predictions are reliable. I don't understand the weather much so I am unable to tell all about the weather.